Aperta aí. is the point. Yes. Uh, how are you? We're okay, Mr. Spencer. Um, I have a bit of a favour to ask you. It's about Buddy. Um, do you remember any of the conversations we had about him? Yes, I remember the conversations we had well, Maggie. I said I was happy being friends with you both, but I didn't feel comfortable helping Buddy on a professional level anymore. With the history between him and I now, it would conflict with my stand by what I said. I understand that, um, but I've been having more serious problems with him lately. Actually, since you left college, his behaviour has gone from bad to worse. Um, this morning, it was the worst by far. What happened? He set fire to all his things. It's hard to explain the situation properly over the phone. Is there any chance you could pop in maybe and speak to him? He burnt all his stuff. That does sound like a problem. Okay, I can come round now if you like. Oh, thank you. That would be great. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye. you must be feeling. How's everything going? Would you like coffee or tea? A coffee would be great, thanks. 
I really need a coffee so far today has been manic. Typically, the moment help comes to the door, everything goes back to normal. So what did happen? Where do I start? Um, he usually sits in his little drawing. Till this morning, when I fire alarm woke up the whole building, he threw most of his things out of the bedroom window, not before setting fire to the post. Milk? Sugar? Just milk, thanks. What happened after that? One of the neighbours called a fire brigade before I had a chance to. I had to do everything I could think of to stop them calling the policeman. Actually, they seemed happy enough just to give him a warning. Just a warning? At his age? Well, I told him he was going to see a therapist for his behaviour. Oh. Then you called me. Then, then I called you. Like I said, I did everything I could think of. You understand why I did that? He's just not settling in here. Is it really just because of what happened before that you can understand? So he's in his bedroom then? Yes. Um, Buddy, come out here, you have a visitor. He doesn't know I'm here to see him. Never mind. Probably be best if I speak to him alone first anyway. Wait. He's very convincing. Um, don't let him lie to you. few times when you were at college uh, a couple of years ago. You were having trouble with bullies and then well you left. What was that? I remember you being able to speak perfect English buddy. Get up. Get up. Well, your foster mother asked me here today to talk to you. She's worried about you. And from what I've heard, I'd be worried too. So why don't you tell me what happened this morning? You already know what happened this morning. You wouldn't be here otherwise. It's true. But I might understand it better coming from you. I broke my things because I didn't want anything I want anymore. They could harm me. Harm you? I don't want to have an accident. Okay. I see you've kept up with your art. So... Um, do you stay in here because you're, you're still afraid of being bullied? I stay in here because it's safer for everyone. Safer? I know what it's like to want to feel safe. What about your foster mother? Is it safer for her? I remember when I was a kid, actually I was a young man about your age. I went for a walk in my local woods. It's something I always liked to do, exploring, when I knew I was. It's funny, I remember always being told by my mum to stay where I could still see the houses, but not this particular walk. I just went and got completely lost. There were trees all around me and nothing else. And it's at that moment of, of realising I was lost I became absolutely terrified. My behaviour changed and I, I remember running around frantically. Every sound I heard, sounds that were just regular forest sounds, Terrifying to me. 
remember running so hard I ran myself into the ground. I was completely out of breath. Then what happened? Well, then I realised I wasn't going to get anywhere running around the way I was. I thought, I'm not going to let this fear grip me any longer. I'm certainly not going to die out in the woods because of it when I couldn't be more than a few hours away from home. Then what? And then I, I waited to catch my breath, to wait until the fear had gone. Then? Then I calmly and slowly found my way home. That's it? That's the story? You just went home? Well, the truth is, I hadn't actually got that lost, and there was nothing for me to really be afraid of. So I, f I found the river that I knew ran past the street where I lived, and I followed it until I found my way home. Were you afraid of animals or serial killers? Just because you were lost? I was afraid because I was alone. Well, I was alone the whole time, but it wasn't until I got lost that I realised just how alone I was. It, it scared me. And, and that's why I became a counsellor. I was fascinated by my reaction of being lost. I realised maybe we all need to see that some of the things we're afraid of in life aren't real. Even though they may seem real, all our responses are different and unique. You're unique, buddy. You mean weird? No, I mean unique. I believe some of the things you've experienced in your life in China and... I think I'm weird. Why do you think that, buddy? Is it because you draw? It's because what I draw. What do you draw? It's because what I draw, I draw stuff that happens. You draw... You draw stuff that happens? Yeah, I draw stuff and then... It happens. I draw my teacher Mrs Clatterbug becoming a vampire and flying away. And it happened. She just left college. It's not because you drew her. I remember she left for personal reasons. What made you want to draw her like that anyway? Was she cruel to you? She was always cruel to me. And that's why you drew her like that. Because you couldn't tell her how hurt you felt, so you vent your anger out through your drawings. And that's okay. I drew my ex-best friend Pete falling off a cliff into a sea of sharks. And he did fall off a cliff when he was on holiday. And the plane crash that happened to those people that went to Florida. My mum said I couldn't go. I drew that too. I drew the plane that I was going to take crashing. And it did. All right, buddy. Look, I should think that if it was true- It that is. That you have this ability that you discovered by an accident, you, you would be feeling quite burdened by it, guilty even. And you? What about me? What do you think would happen to you if I drew you? Is that me? Yeah, when you were talking, I drew you. It's great, buddy. But what if I drew a car about to hit you? You go outside and the car would hit you. It's enough, buddy. Listen, do you Don't really... worry. I think it only happens when I really wish it. I think I'm going to go and talk to your foster mother. any number of councillors in the area if you just made a few calls. You're the only one I thought I could talk to. Stop seeing him for a reason. Yes, I know. Your, your son Henry. Why don't you talk to Buddy about it? Look, this was a mistake in coming here. If what he just told me back in there, he truly believes. He needs professional care. He needs the kind of help that I'm not qualified to give. I just counsel college kids. With this kind of issue, there's a chance that something bad could happen. But Buddy's not like that. Yes, I understand. But if you believe... You asked me here to help. That's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to go back in there and say goodbye. And reassure him that I'm going to get him the best help. That he can he needs to hear from you that what he thinks of himself isn't true. Buddy, uh, I'm gonna go now. I just wanted to say goodbye and to say that what you think of yourself, well, 
I've spoken with your mum and we're going to make sure that you have someone much better than me to talk to. Because from what you've told me, I think you need help. I'm sorry if I scared you. I'm sorry about what happened to Harry too. I don't want to talk about Henry. I'm sorry that your son was one of the boys that bullied me. And I'm sorry that he got sick and died. I understood why you didn't want to console me anymore after that. And I'm really sorry for this. I do this before he died. I'm really sorry. It's not true.